It's happened, guys. The reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies has just been released. It was released about 20 minutes ago. I haven't really seen anything about it from any YouTubers, so I don't know. I may be one of the first people to make a video talking about it. But anyways, it's finally here, and there is a lot, a lot to talk about. So the first thing, let's read the description in this video. From the team behind the original Call of Duty Zombies, Treyarch returns with an all-new mind-bending tale of the undead. Jeff Goldblum, Heather Graham, Neil McDuno, and Ron Perlman star in Shadows of Evil, an adventurously new survival co-op experience only available in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Set in the 1940s, four unwitting characters are brought together under mysterious circumstances. Unravel the secrets and explore a massive world in the deepest zombies experience to date. Now, this is interesting. To me, what the trailer looked like and what this description seems like is that Zombies is going to be more of a story mode than anything. Like, this is what we've been wanting for a long time. Zombies just to have its own story mode. It kind of has its own story because, you know, everything's all connected and, like, you know, the evolution of zombies has created more and more of the story. But it seems like this is focusing more on that than actually playing zombies. Now, it's set in the 1940s, like it said, and to me, this is just interesting because this is before Richtofen has taken control of the zombies. So there could be a lot of things that we're still missing that this map is going to, you know, reveal through the Easter egg and stuff like that. Now, one thing that kind of upsets me is I really did want to see the original characters come back. I wanted to see Nikolai, Takio, Tank, and Richtofen. I really, really wanted to see them come back. But we have these new characters and I think it could be interesting because this is like to me this feels like Mob of the Dead I'm pretty sure uh, the creators of Mob of the Dead and Origins they're like the campaign team and I'm pretty sure the campaign team is now focusing on zombies so I mean we're gonna have more maps like Mob of the Dead and Origins and to me this has a very Mob of the Dead feel maybe it's because it's like gangster type stuff and I don't know it's just interesting to me now, at the very beginning, it looked like we were going to have some guns that we know return. Like, to me, it looked like we saw a futuristic Type 100. So, what it appears is that there is some kind of mastermind behind this whole zombies thing. Because there was a voiceover, and it was saying, I've seen you, and I've seen your past, stuff like that. And it kind of went to flashbacks of each character, and what they did, and how they could all be connected. So, it seems like we're going to have a really deep intense story unraveling with this and also the you know like the expensive edition of black ops 3 that has that's been happening in every call of duty is going to be the juggernaut edition and basically when you get that you get a free zombies map called the giant what some people aren't realizing is that the giant is just Doris. so it looks like we're going to be getting a Doris remake now i don't know if maybe there will be a free zombies map in like every DLC of like all of the world at war maps. I don't know because I feel like it would kind of just be a little bit of a cop out if they only gave us Doris. I mean, I understand that, you know, they don't have the time to like remake every single map that we've had, but honestly, I would love to see a remake of maybe Kino or Moon, Ascension. Like that would just be amazing to me, not just Doris. I mean, Doris was amazing, but I mean, I feel like they could do more. It's Treyarch. I mean, I have faith in them. So it looks like buildables are coming back. Because there was one part where one of the characters had a shield. But what makes it look weird is the shield had, like, rockets attached to it. Like, you have to keep in mind, this is supposed to be set in the 1940s. I don't think rocket-propelled shields are going to be built. Like, that just, it doesn't seem realistic to me. I know zombies isn't realistic because it's just, like, complete another, it's just, it's just bullshit on bullshit on even more bullshit. But it's fun. And it has some form of realism to it. But this kind of just looks like it's taking it too far. It looks like the 1940s has quickly become the year 2065 or whenever Black Ops 3 is set. And another thing that kind of makes me upset 
is they have the guns for multiplayer. So even more futuristic stuff happening in the 1940s. I understand they don't have the time to create a whole new arsenal for zombies and make them old guns, but like, I don't know. Maybe maybe a Tommy gun. I, since it's set in the 1940s, I'm like, I can guarantee there will be a Tommy gun or something like that. So another cool thing is that we saw Pack-a-Punch. I mean, we knew this was gonna come back, but what happened was he Pack-a-Punched an AK and it came out, it had the same noise, and the camo, I mean, it's just the basic Pack-a-Punch camo, which kind of upsets me because I really wanted to see some, like, really cool extravagant Pack-a-Punch camo, like Origins, because that camo was probably the coolest thing ever. But the one thing, my biggest concern is the boss. It's like this giant mutant three-headed squid, and I'm like, what in the ever-living fuck are they thinking what Treyarch what are you doing what a giant squid as a boss with three heads no 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 I know you're trying to be innovative but that's the kind of shit that made transit such a flop you tried to be too innovative and this boss just looks like it's going to be a giant shit storm it it just upsets me unless this is like some alternate universe where bullshit is okay, I mean, maybe that's what they'll do. Maybe they'll set this in some alternate universe so it doesn't really... I don't know what they're thinking, though. There was another thing that looked like a type of zombie blood. It looks like zombie blood is returning, but when the character takes it, they turn into that like little squid thing and they start attacking the zombies. So, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully they can play that out well. Most of their bosses have made sense, but this one right now just just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Now, another cool thing that I saw, or that many of you saw, probably all of you saw, was the candy machine. What is that supposed to be? Is that like, is that going to be some kind of power up? Like some random, I mean, it looks like it's going to be random and it will give the character maybe like, 30 seconds of some special power because I think one of the characters took a gumball or a candy whatever it was and all the zombies went around him kind of like the green mist when you have vulturate and buried and then I don't know it just there was this red burst around another character and it was it was weird so maybe that gum machine or candy machine whatever it is maybe that'll play into the easter egg I I bet it will it it probably will I don't see how it couldn't but anyways, so buildables are coming back. We have an awesome canning machine. The boss is kind of concerning. We have brand new characters. I think this is going to be really good. I honestly am excited for zombies. This is kind of really the only reason I'm buying Black Ops 3. So I, I, I don't know, guys. I'm excited. I hope it's good. I'm kind of on the fence because at the moment, what they gave us was maybe just a little too much. I know it's going to be different when you're actually playing zombies, and it's going to be... I mean, we all know how zombies is. It's boring. It's just chill and relax. Trayer... Trayers. Trailers make everything look more chaotic and more intense. So, I mean, it'll definitely play out differently. We'll just have to see how it goes. So, later today, we have Comic-Con and the Zombies panel. Syndicate is hosting it, which, I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, good on him. Bravo for Syndicate. But anyways, guys, that's my opinion on the Zombies trailer reveal. I'll talk more about it later, but for now, I'll see you guys later.